in a documentary that was on television recently dealing with uh, the rise in America of Islam. A great black theologian said that in the 60s he was about to become a Muslim. Because the argument that Muslims had against that form of Christianity was so strong. He could not defend what he believed. And then the Honorable Elijah Muhammad inspired a wave of black theologians who began to put a black face on Christianity so that right now you can go to church and if you listen real good you hear the teachings of the Honorable Elijah Muhammad coming out of the mouth of the preachers <laughs> only instead of saying Allah Instead of saying Muhammad, they'll say Jesus. And you never heard no sports figure or entertainment figure accepting an award and thanking Jesus until Muhammad Ali began winning and praising Allah. So whether you realize it or not, the little nation of Islam has affected every sphere of black life in America. Now wait a minute. There's hardly a black organization that I have not been invited to address. Black social workers, black doctors, black lawyers, black policemen, black scientists, blacks in computer technology, black manufacturers. I don't care what it is, Farrakhan has been there. And before me, Malcolm. Now look, what effect did our being there with this message have? The people didn't come and join the nation, the little nation, but their consciousness was so affected that they never were niggers and Negroes and colored people anymore. Now, whether you agree or not, Malcolm affected black thought. And all of these that are nationalists today that bear witness to Malcolm are bearing witness to a man who changed their direction mentally. I run into people every day, not every day, but when I go out which is rare, but so I can't say every day, but I run into people who say, Minister, you don't know how you affected me. <laughs>